Nice punch in that hole the top. Oh, spinning back fist. He didn't telegraph that one at all. It's a heavyweight clash between Bruce Lee and Charzinho, Biggie Boy Rosenstruck. All right, so here he is, the man they call Biggie Boy and the first native of Little Suriname to cross into the UFC. Heavyweight contender and a bona fide one at that. Jarzinho Rosenstruck. Outstanding rookie here in the UFC in 2019. Won all four of his fights, all four of them by knockout. None bigger, of course, than that lip separation of Alistair Overeem that set up a future fight with Francis Ngannou. A lot of people feel like Rosenstruck is the future. I'm trying to be the present here tonight. the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times. Enter Bruce Lee. I mean, that's Bruce Lee in a nutshell. Over and over and over, he did the same thing, and it shows in the technique, because there's no wasted energy. There's no wasted movements. Everything he does, he does with a purpose. He goes in there with an idea of what he's trying to accomplish, and he gets it done. Bruce Lee is the absolute best. Bruce Lee is the man. His grappling, his takedown defense figure to be tested here tonight. But there aren't that many guys who are going to want to stand and trade on a napkin in the center of the octagon with the great Bruce Lee. No, if you're fighting Bruce Lee, you're shooting for takedowns right yeah. away. And now our tail of the tape for this heavyweight fight. So these fighters relatively close in age, just a year apart, with big differences in height, but some differences in reach. All right, now with the official Ladies introductions, we go inside the this octagon is of Bruce Lee. The main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the Honda Center in Anaheim, California. <laughs> Fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 11 wins, two losses. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 260 pounds. Fighting out of Coconut Creek, Florida. Yes, and yo, Biggie Boy Rosenstrike. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, USA, Bruce the Dragon Lee. You've been giving your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, let's make it official. They touch him up, and we are underway. Ready. Ready for well, these guys have been on each other's radars for quite some time tonight. It shall be done. Both guys well-rounded. You think we're getting a kickboxing match tonight or what? You just don't know, right? You don't know who's going to be able to employ their strategy the way that they need to. It's a close fight on paper. It's also in every performance we have seen them put on. These guys seem to be the mirror image of each other. Well, you see him land the jab there. He's got the reach advantage. Might as well use it. Lands the right hand. Well, perhaps a sign of things. 
things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the jump. Well, he's certainly keeping busy, DC, connecting with most of the punches he's thrown. I mean, punches and punches. He's doing a great job. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Big call for punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Big shots being landed on both sides here. He's back in the clinch. Watch the knees to start to come now. Oh, he's got that right hand going tonight, DC. Connected with it there. He's thrown so many left jabs to throw that right punch straight down the pipe. It's unreal. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Under three minutes now to go on the rack. Oh, and that kick is blocked. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? Really timing his shots nicely. Good tempo, very accurate, finding the range with relative ease. Yeah, he's doing a great job of really overwhelming his opponent with activity. Slips. All single collar guy here. And both guys really throwing with authority. That kick blocked by Biggie Boy. Unable to land the head kick there. He is all about that left kick to the body. Oh! There. He landed it perfectly. Perfect placement. Perfect position. What a huge blow and a big moment in this fight. That one was thrown to end the fight. Yeah. <laughs> Throwing that jab yet again, out of range. Ooh, blocks the shot. Well, it's one thing to have length, it's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Lee. Person strikes lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. And he landed the right hand there. 10 seconds to go in round one. And he connects there, DC. Great job landing that horn. That horn sounds means we have reached the end of round one. All right, no Telestrator for DC tonight, but we'll get you some replays. And if you like face punching, that was a good round. Yeah, where's my Telestrator, man? I want to draw this action. But yeah, John, you're right. It was the striking, it was the punches that really did allow him to take control of this round. Great connection. He's in a great flow right now. Really making good use of his reach advantage there with that punch. Ooh, what a head kick. Barely missed on an uppercut right here on the inside. Goes upstairs for an elbow. Lands got to start raising that guard, or this is going to be the end of the fight. I mean, it's going to be the end of the fight. It's very surprising that he's even standing upright after taking such a bad shot. Right, you're okay, you're okay. Let's focus. Let's focus. Oh, that's a nice strike. Back and forth we go here. Ooh, head kick lands. It's hurt. Head kick looked like that one was blocked. That's a big hook. Boom! Big jab. Both of these guys going all out. High action fight here. Just out of range with the big right hand. So a much different approach for him here in this second round. He was a little bit tentative in round one, a little bit of a feeling out process. Now he has cooled, found his rhythm, found the range. We'll see if he can continue with more activity here in round two. Well, he continues to stay busy and he continues to land with volume punches. I mean, volume, but he's not wasting anything. He's so accurate. And a head kick there as he lands and maybe time to get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about the about the opening that will be there on Thursday. Those words proven prophetic right there. I mean, 
his vision and his timing allows him to get that technique on. And you hear the crowd react every time they come together because they understand the power that these guys are striking with. Big head kick land. Oh, Rosen strikes lower jaw looking extremely swollen now. Nice punch in that over the top. Oh, spinning back fist. He didn't telegraph that one at all. DC and how about the punching acumen by that fighter in that previous round? He does not waste anything. He does not loop punches. Everything's tight. Everything's precise. He's a sniper. We always talk about how he's a sniper. He is a sniper. And it showed in that exchange that allowed him to drop his opponent. Hiding a head kick. Goes back to that left kick once again. Oh! Who's hurt? Serve him up. Go get him. Whoa! Crazy accuracy and efficiency with these ground and pound strikes here. And if you're the opponent, you've got to intelligently defend or the referee's going to stop. you got to defend. But you can see him now start to gain posture. And the intensity at which he's throwing these ground strikes is starting to improve. It's starting to elevate because he knows that he can get the finish. Single collar tie now. Lee gets caught with that punch. His chin is held up thus far. Got to shore up the defense here, though. Gonna land the leg kick now. We're well, not sure if he's lighter on his feet or what it is, but these last couple of rounds, he's been far more aggressive, a lot more pressure. Oh, he's really starting to light him up now. Nice knee to the body there by Lee. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Wow! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got a pressure. He's got to go chase that finish down now. finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Whoa! Oh, how about it? Left couple delivered the diving punch to the head. What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish his fight. Oh, he landed another great shot to the body there. Really starting to connect it. Whoa! Hard to get up again, but he looks like he's compromised. Oh! And just like that, the fight is over! Oh, my goodness! <laughs> just an absolutely gorgeous shot to spell the end for his opponent. Crowd is absolutely loving it. He gets the near-perfect land. I'm not even sure his opponent saw it coming, but just the way he drew it up here tonight, saw that little crack of an opening and barged right through it to get the knockout. All right, let's take a look back at the replay. It ends up a knockout, but this was really a striking clinic from the moment they touched one. I mean, a competitive fight. That one guy finally found the shot that ended the fight. But both of these warriors displayed a ton of heart. One guy got the finish, but neither guy should be disappointed in their performance.
Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop this contest at four minutes, 19 seconds of round number three. We're playing the winner by knockout, Bruce the Dragon Lee!